Now, before I link in these files from the, the shared folder, I can go into Bin360 Design Collaboration and verify them, then share them. So here's uh, one of my models that have been shared, but I want to update this. So here we have Design Collaboration, and if you haven't used Design Collaboration, uh, this is a tool where you can go and create packages and share data out. So at the moment, um, my data set is just updating a little bit here. I've just done a sync and publish. Let's say I want to go to the structural model and share out a package. So I'm just moving into the structure persona here. This one's up to date. I want to create a package. So I can go here, hit create package. This will fetch the package contents. So whatever has been set up with the sheet in the model, you can include. You can also restrict how much you want to be sharing within this package as well. So I'm just going to hit save, just so you can see what's going on. Here is um, the different sheets and what's going to be showing on those sheets. Um, it is the model here though. There will always be the project model available here as part of that package. So I'm just going to go save. And now that's ready to go because I've included the sheets and the model. And I want to go share. And I'm just going to keep it on uh, the default naming here. You can, of course, change the package name, add a description. You can assign it to a existing document set if you've got this set up in your project. Just going to keep it simple now and go share. And this is now moving that package into the project timeline for others to consume. So you can see here, this is a solid dot, meaning that I've shared the package as the structural engineer. Engineer. Let's say I move to the MEP persona. I'll see here now that package shows up as an open circle and I can choose to consume it. So that's that, that basic workflow here. And when we go back to our BIN 360 document management environment, um, here we have the uh, latest shared model from the structural engineer. So that's just uh, processing at the moment, but that will uh, show up with a new update in a second. So that's the basic principle. So what does that mean for linking that data into your Revit Cloud Save model? So this is where we go. So here we have our BIN360 house we want to go back to plans and open up that container file. So here I created this earlier, clash demo, and this will open up a second. And uh, now that this opened up, I want to be linking in the files from the plans folder. So I've already done the architecture, I'll just do this again. So I want to add the mechanical and the structure. And here in the plans folder, here in the project folder, I'm going to navigate to my shared folder. This is the verified folder. This is the release. And I've got the architecture in there already. I now want to grab the latest structure, bring that one in. And I want to add in again from the shared folder, the MEP model as well. So here we have the shared folder and I want to get the mechanical. This one's mainly hydraulics. And now we have our BIN360 design models linked into our container model here. So here they all are uh, sitting in this environment I do need to uh, do a few more publishes to get this model updated. You can see it's a bit overlapped here. But that's how you bring them into the container file.